King Charles III has delivered a poignant message to Great Britain and the rest of the world following the death of his mother, Elizabeth II. As the eldest child of the late Queen, the Prince of Wales has now assumed the throne as Charles III. The statement issued on behalf of Britain's new king read, The death of my beloved mother, Her Majesty the Queen, is a moment of the greatest sadness for me and all members of my family. We mourn profoundly the passing of a cherished sovereign and a much-loved mother. I know her loss will be deeply felt throughout the country, the realms and the Commonwealth, and by countless people around the world. During this period of mourning and change, my family and I will be comforted and sustained by our knowledge of the respect and deep affection in which the Queen was so widely held. Justin, Queen Elizabeth II dies aged 96 surrounded by heartbroken family King Charles III ushers in a new era for Britain and the royal family with moving statement, image, Getty King Charles III has described the death of the Queen as the greatest sadness for his family, image, Getty, the Queen has died, what happens now? Funeral and mourning plans in full Queen Elizabeth II has died at the age of 96, with the royal family's official Twitter account confirming the news this evening. There are official plans in place following her death, from where her body will be taken next, to how her funeral will be held. See the funeral and mourning plans in full here. Upon becoming king, Charles was entitled by long-running tradition to choose to rule under any name with speculation he may have chosen one of his middle names, Philip, Arthur or George. Prime Minister Liz Truss was the first to publicly acknowledge King's chosen title Charles III. Speaking outside Downing Street in response to the Queen's passing, she said, Today the crown passes, as it is has done for more than a thousand years, to our new monarch, our new head of state, His Majesty King Charles III. With the King's family, we mourn the loss of his mother. And as we mourn, we must come together as a people to support him. To help him bear the awesome responsibility that he now carries for us all. We offer him our loyalty and devotion just as his mother devoted so much to so many for so long. In a statement, the palace said, the Queen died peacefully at Balmoral this afternoon. The King and the Queen consort will remain at Balmoral this evening and will return to London tomorrow. World leaders, celebrities and ordinary people, gathered at the gates of Buckingham Palace, have all paid tribute to the Queen who was described by U.S. President Joe Biden as a stateswoman of unmatched dignity. The nation began to stop to mourn its former monarch, with the Mercury Prize for leading musicians postponed and play at the PGA Championship golf event at Wentworth suspended. Please leave your tributes to Queen Elizabeth II here trending Queen Elizabeth II, a life in pictures, image, express. Mr. Biden said about the Queen's history-making reign, which passed the 70-year milestone in February, that it bore witness to an age of unprecedented human advancement and the forward march of human dignity. He also credited the Queen with being a stateswoman of unmatched dignity and constancy who deepened the bedrock alliance between the United Kingdom and the United States. She helped make our relationship special, 